double eagle you probably already know that i like science technology engineering and math but did you know i also love books so today we're going to look at some of the technology and engineering that goes into making a book the way a book is put together is called its binding so we're going to study book binding to put together the pages in our stem booklet so today you will need your stem packet and from the packet you're going to need the pages all the papers and you're going to need the pipe cleaner put all the other stuff back in the bag and keep it safe for now you're just going to need these two things today first we need to look at a book so pause this video and go get a book from your house any kind of book go ahead and pause it do you have your book good now we want to be very gentle with our books to make sure the pages stay together even while we're looking for clues about how a bunch of pages were stuck together to make a book um, on the front of your book you have the cover and on the side this is called the spine sometimes the spine will give you clues about how the book was put together we might also look inside the book at the middle where the pages come together or we might look at the top of the book take a look at your book carefully and gently and see if you can tell how the pages were put together i'm going to show you three of my books and maybe yours is put together like one of those mm, this book's spine doesn't show how it's made but if i open it up you can see that there's rings in here and look at the pages they have holes punched in them so these metal rings hold the pages together by going through all the holes this is really good for a book that you want to be able to lay flat and have it not flip pages this i have another book here with a very small spine there's not even room for uh, the name of the book or anything printed on here but if you look really closely at the spine can you see some staples you recognize those metal things and if we open up the book in the middle of the book we can see where the staples come out so this book is stapled together and if you notice you can especially see it on this middle page the pages the papers are twice the size of the book you see the pages are really long and they folded them in half and stapled them together to form this book sometimes they also sew the book along the edge here that's called saddle stitching so this book if we open it up you can see there's a lot of groups of pages that are glued together you can see the groups of pages they glue together the pages in each group and then they glue all the groups together and then they put on a sturdy cover now we're going to put together the pages in our stem packet to make our own stem workbook if you don't have your stem packet um, you can ask your teacher they should. i'm going to put a link down below where you can print it if you can do that and if all else fails just get some blank pieces of paper and punch some holes in them and make your own stem workbook with blank pages i'm going to show you two different ways to bind your book together and you choose which way you want to try so watch both of them before you start doing this okay this first method is called side stitching a lot of times with books they will do this with like a needle and thread okay so you're going to take your packet and then turn it over on the back and then put one end of the pipe cleaner through this hole and one end of the pipe cleaner through this hole now we have two ends poking out of the front then we can bring those two ends together and you can twist them to hold your pages together twist it down real nice and tight okay and then your pages are stuck together when we open our book we are going to need to fold down the pages to keep them neat so you can go ahead and when you open your book it's okay to fold the pages over a little bit now the other way we can bind our papers together is by making rings out of our pipe cleaner for this you're going to need some scissors so take your scissors and your pipe cleaner kind of fold your pipe cleaner in half so you know where to cut it kind of in the middle so you have two equal pieces 
you just put in here and snip it. Now, each of these is going to be one ring. So we'll put this one through this hole, and then we can fold the two ends up and twist them together to make a ring. Like that. And we do the same thing with the other set. Put them through the hole and twist them together to make a ring. I like to tuck the ends under because sometimes the ends of pipe cleaner can be a little bit pokey. So I'm going to kind of press it against the rest of the pipe cleaner so you can't even see the ends. And now we have a nice stem book that will open up and we can lay it flat so it'll stay open while we're working. That's the advantage of this method. Now it's possible that you might have thought of your own method. Maybe you want to use some yarn. Maybe you want to punch more holes in it and weave it in and out. Or maybe you want to get some duct tape and to try and glue the pages together and wrap some duct tape around it like a cover. If you have your own way, that's awesome. If you're not sure what to do, you can always use one of the ways that I showed you. Just make sure that at the end you have all of your pages bound together so they won't get lost. After your pages are bound together, there's only one thing left to do today, and that's to decorate your cover. There's a spot for your name and your teacher's name, and there's also some blank spots here where I want you to draw things that you like about STEM. I think I'm gonna put maybe a robot and maybe a rocket ship. You put on the things that you like about STEM and take a picture and share it with your class if you want. And then put your booklet back in your bag so you'll have it for the next time we do STEM. You're going to need some of the other things in there. So keep it safe. If you have time, there's a link below to a video uh, like a field trip to a real bookbinder. Um, I hope you all stay safe, have fun, and keep making things.